want to welcome you to this kickoff episode of the Shugyo podcast. My name is Adam Mitchell. This is an important episode, and it is an interview with my teacher, Manaka Unsui, uh, and my sensei. I've been with Sensei now for over two decades, uh, and this conversation is about his uh, work in the space of what he calls Kakusei Mushin. Now, what makes this episode so special, and the reason why I'm putting it first, is not only to tip my hat to my teacher and to share with you his uh, incredible wisdom, uh, and regardless of what martial art you study or what your own journey is, you're going to get some value from this episode, I promise. But for me, what's most important is that it really completes a circle. Uh, and this is a probably as a martial artist um, and, and a teacher, this was probably one of the proudest and most fulfilling moments, which was to have a young man, uh, Jackson Abitamarco, who started at my dojo, who started training with me actually before I even had a dojo, Back when he was about four years old, he started. Uh, He grew up in my dojo. He studied uh, and began to learn Japanese language and then studied Japanese language, studied Shoto at uh, the Cultural Arts Center uh, that I ran. And then Jackson ended up going to university and then from there moved to Japan, where he lives now. He's married, has a wonderful career that only someone could dream about, and he has continued his study of Kobudo. He stayed on the path. I invited Jackson up from Osaka to join me in my training with Sensei. And I asked that Jackson translate to the students who traveled with me Sensei's, uh, Sensei's teaching. Why this is so special to me personally is because it really exemplifies the model that a traditional martial arts instructor, or an instructor for, for anything, I guess, where they end up learning from their student, where they end up in a place where they can commit so much of their life to the craft, but to be in a place where you've sacrificed so much of your life, you've given so much of who you are, and then to be in the presence of one of your students for so many years, now teaching you, to be that person who's translating for your teacher to your students and to yourself. This is extremely special to me. And I would say probably just as special as Sensei's words and his teachings himself that you're going to listen to in this episode. So while the episode is a little rough because it was recorded on a phone and it was in a dojo in Japan, uh, it wasn't uh, professionally produced in any way. It's a rough recording and you're going to hear Sensei speaking in Japanese. So if you don't speak Japanese, there's going to be a lot of kind of downtime. But I'm going to ask you to sit through it. Join me on the floor in the dojo in Japan, sitting there listening to Sensei's teaching and listening to a student who became an instructor. Welcome to Shugyo, reflections on the path to self-mastery and forging the way. My name is Adam Mitchell. I'm your host and fellow student along this path. So the approach to techniques is you put, uh, you put importance on the basics. So, uh, so, um, the uh, variation of techniques is something that each individual practicing them uh, aligns with their body and their natural physicality. But he said, at any point, if you're uncertain about how you're supposed to uh, carry out a technique, uh, he will, uh, in this setting of, a train- of uh, training, he will explain to you the thought process behind the technique. Uh, 
一つか二つをみんなに教えてこういうふうにものあの考えるんだよとか、ねはい、今変化技をやってる。So he said that in kata, techniques that come from kata, the kata is set, right? But he said in this case of h e n k a w a z a which is more like,、um, I, I, from my understanding, techniques that you grow upon, he said they go on forever, they're infinite. But the way you attain that is by learning one or two basic techniques that convey, convey the principles and the thought processes behind those infinite techniques. 私が変化技を見て、変化が一つしかない、あるいは二つしかないって思うのは間違いない。So he said, when you do 変化技 when you do these、um, uh, evolvable techniques, there's only ever one or two techniques that explain to you then the logic behind the range of all of the experimentation that you would do with those techniques yourself. And there's no doubt about that, that there's only One or two techniques for each Hengalasa.、Uh, so he said that、uh, we are training, we're doing Keiko in order to、um, fully、uh, absorb and、uh, It, to some extent, master、um, the kata, the、uh, set techniques, so that our, our body remembers them. Uh, so he said, for example, when we're doing Fu no Maki, we're changing from all different Kamai and doing the same movement from a variety of Kamai. And that is so that we can fully、uh, remember and absorb the basic technique. So you can come back to that, right? オリジナルがあって変化バリエーションがあってそれから帝国とかでこのオリジナルをしっかりとやれば自然に変化もだから今やってる稽古の方もできるはずなんだ。So he said if you、um, really just fully、um, master the or、uh, understand the、uh, core original technique all of the variations of that you should naturally be able to just pick up on. いいですね、<笑>これが考え方それから実際に技の稽古をするときにはその技,な技のうんポイントがある何をこの技で教えようとしてるかというポイントが必ずあるそのポイントをしっかりと身につけるために「緩急強弱」<笑>これを使う。Right. Uh, so he said、um, that when we're doing techniques in Keiko and training,、uh, every technique has a key point. And the real purpose of doing that training is so that you、uh, internalize those points. Because every single technique is trying to convey、uh, some kind of、uh, key focus, key point of、uh, movement, or even、uh, perhaps mentality or something like that. Uh, so, these points, so we can internalize these points, is why we're training、uh, the way that we are. And, uh, <laughs> And、uh, absorbing the movements. Then, Q, when you reach the next level of mastery, you can do it quickly. Then, the third level of mastery is strength. And the final level,、uh, level of mastery is strength. 
スロー,スロー,スロークイックだろ、はい、ここはパワフル、ね、それからストロングパワフルそれからウィーク力を抜くジャッカルあれは分かった It's a new y o r k 言葉。Yeah. カンキュー、キョウ、キョウ、ジャック、ジャック。カンキュー、キョウ、ジャック。あの、ジャック、ジャック、ジャック、ジャック、ジャック、ジャック、ジャック、ジャック、ジャック、ジャック、ジャック、ジャック、ジャック、ジャック、ジャック、ジャック、ジャック、ジャック、ジャック、今言ってるあの緩急強弱はその技の中のポイントをやるときに、はい、<咳>最初によ弱いところを見せてで攻撃させるあだからこの線やるねそれで弱いところを見せて相手がパッと来たところを強く返すあるいは速く返すあるいはゆっくり返すゆっくり返して流すっていうことね、はい、そういうふうなのを緩急強弱を使い分けて。技のポイントを勉強するジャックで、あの、感じとしては弱いと思う。弱いっていう。ああ、でも、その最後に、あの、ど、弱い、弱くなる。強くやりたい。そう、そう、ああ、うん、そう、ああ。だ、トランスレーションズ、ここ。はい、はい、はい。だから。いろんな、駆け引きだ。駆け引き。あ、はい。駆け引きの中に、緩急、強弱のある。スパーサスリバーブリパーティー、はい、でまあいいやじゃあなもう一環境強弱は I think you can understand まあ、anyway そうあの大事なことは最初から最後まで力をカッて入れてカッてやらないこと昔よく言う教えたのは最初からやらないこと昔よく教えたのは最初からやらないこと次の瞬間に 0%。力を抜くの。力を抜くの。力を抜くの。で、また力をガーッと入れて、また抜く。これがカウント9。今日ジャッキのね。はっきりわかる。いいかもな。So he said, I think this is critical that、uh, you're not just doing every technique at full power all the time. It's,、um, he actually said, at one second you'll be at 100%, the next second you'll be at 0%.、Uh, mm. Because he said the most important thing is to、uh, like, release,、uh, don't try and put power to it.、Uh, like, basically, he's just saying you have to move naturally. You can't just try and, like, Put brute strength into it. There are those moments where you're, you're soft and <coughs> you come in, but then the next moment you're back to being flexible.、Uh, again. So it's the most important thing is to stay,、uh, to stay natural in your movements and、uh, not to. He, he used the phrase, which means to basically just、uh, release power. And so that means, like, it's, and by power, he means that sort of brute strength. Like, you don't put that, like, And it's more just tension. Tension, tension, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I got it. You h o m o no Hanasia Nakte, Budona Hanasia, you homo that is like you homo a Wakatimo, Budono, and Wakaristo, so in the Imano Hanasia Hanasio, then you hold the key that the big guy they get like. He said,、uh, even like normal Japanese people, if they're here, like listening to this, they won't necessarily understand it because it's not about Japanese language so much as it is about martial arts specifically. He said, everybody at the do <coughs> dojo chill level、uh, understands this because when you're actually doing the movements with your body, you'll naturally learn. Uh, exactly what he's talking about. Then, just the story, I don't know, I'm going to go to the next one. Then, the story, the whole 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 
、うん、今みんながやったの見てるともう全然基本が基本になってないただあの映画のチャンバラと一緒であれじゃあとてもじゃないけど、うん、自分の命を守れないなあ、うん、so he said that、uh, the most important thing bringing it back to the basics he said you, even in your dreams you should be able to take the basic kamai and do the forms perfectly. And、uh, he said that、uh, what we were doing before、uh, might have been closer to like a samurai movie, but he said in real no, life. No. Ch- Chambara is like a, a game that children play. Right. Like, right. <laughs> right. Like uh, playing uh, Chambara.、Uh, I think they use the word movie as well, but,、oh. um, but yeah, so basically like playing samurai instead of. Uh, actually, doing techniques, and he said that's fine, but when you do that, you can't protect your life. So, he said the reason why that happens is because we're not、uh, internalizing the basics、mm. and we're just、uh, trying to be as fierce as possible.、Mm. But,、uh, To me, or your understanding, when do you want a student to establish their understanding? できるのでしょうかなぜなら今あの僕たちがあのなんかやってるのはあのこう真ん中先生の変化技かと思いますがこうどういうどういう、うんまあ、どの段階で自分の,あの修行っていうふうにあの自分の理解を生かしてあの変化技を開拓。できるのでしょうか、うん、あのね、シューハリって分かるな、シューハリ。シューハリ。一番最初は、シュー。教えられたことをしっかりと守る。それだけをや、教えられたことだけをやる。シュー。そうですね、シューハリ。And the first step is shoe, which is to do exactly what you're told. <coughs> to learn and then.、Um, And then put that back out, take that input and take that back out. That's perfect.、Uh, so, the next one is the ha. Ha is the one that is break. So, he said the next one is the one that 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 is the To break that, and that is Henka. So, the last one is creation. You are said, Shu Hari. From the Danka, you can learn the moon. You can learn the heart of the Bini stand there for the Dundan. You can't just skip to Ha or Bini. It has to be Shu, then Ha, then Bini. Now, I'm going to show you the original one of Henka. So, what we're doing now, including the hangar, everything we're doing is this phase of shoe.、Mm-hmm. <coughs> Uh, so he said, when you can、uh, perfectly do everything and internalize everything that he's teaching us here, 
then you can start the process of ha, which is more or less just taking these techniques and uh, adjusting them to your body, to your mm. specific body. This is an important conversation because, uh, for me, the word henka essentially gives a different meaning to it because, like, say, for example, like the they have henka, and it's oftentimes when someone doesn't know how to do a technique, they've never learned it, they say, this is a henka, and they're demonstrating some version that they think the technique is but isn't mm -hmm. and then it very much sets the student off on a different course mm -hmm. or kata and this is a very widely very important thing and sensei's message and us hearing it is very important because it reestablishes what that word should truly mean with kokudo can you explain that to me at a level i don't think で、he said that he doesn't um, want to uh, badmouth Ujin Khan, but basically that it's, uh, it's a problem. It's a, it's a problem. The, the, the problem is that there are many good students that want to learn the スクールで、こういう話、あの、聞いてるこそ、あの、he said last year he did uh, help Keiko every Saturday, for, every, once a week for the whole uh, year. He said that basically every time they were talking about this all the time. だからあの、デタラメをやってそれがいいと思ってる人たちは私の話っていうか私の教えは堅苦しくて嫌なんだ。だから 1回か he said that um, students that are used to getting that, uh, what he calls detarame, which is basically just like a forgery or, or a fake a facade, uh, they have trouble training uh, with Manaka Sensei. They find it painful because uh, they have to uh, actually. Right. They can't do it. They can't. You can't just do it. You have to learn it. Uh, mm -hmm. And they would rather just hear like, "Oh, good, good, good. That's yeah, you got it." Uh, as they're sort of playing around, because as I said, human beings are simple in that way. We just want positive feedback all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, but that actually doing these techniques is is difficult because you have to have to learn it. As mm. あれだって最初からできるはずないんだから。俺らね、1年や2年やってさ、あの、できたと思ってる連中はね、あっちの方は行きたいわけだよな、みんなはね。だからもう話にならない。He said um nobody can do it at first. Nobody, it's not possible.
And he said, you know, over there, there's these guys that think that, uh, and I'm, I don't know exactly what over there is referring to, but I think we can imagine, but there's these guys that do it for a year or two and think, uh, I can do it now, I've mastered it. But he said that that's not physically possible. It's just not a possibility. Question? Uh, when you ask him, do you think it takes someone different to be able to actually appreciate the real art? Because I'm assuming a lot of us don't want the gratification. We want to fail through pain and trial and error and not succeed right away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I if it just takes a different, if it's like a true brutal mindset or a true mindset of what the art needs to be for us to train like this. Mm. Is there a unique character right? or trait? Yeah, a unique, unique, yeah okay. a unique trait there. なんかこう、もしかするとこう、あの、そういう、あの、喜んで失敗して、なら、あの、精神を持ってる人間は、そういう感じの人間は何かの、なんていうかこう、あの、人としての喪失が必要なのか、こう、あの、やりたい人と、
you understand yourself. He said the most important thing is to understand yourself. So he said, okay, in martial arts, I'm not necessarily somebody who just instantly picks up on it and can do it naturally, so I'm sticking to the basics. I'm not going to do Henkalaza. I'm not going to try and play with it because I need to just focus on the core principles and the core basics. Uh, and on that understanding of yourself will uh, relate, connect to success. Yeah, so I think you picked up on that sensei, but basically, even in your students, as from coming from the perspective of a sensei, there's skilled, dexterous, talented students, and then there's students that are maybe uh, clumsy or uh, have a harder time picking it up, less dexterous, less skilled. Um, and he said the way you teach those different kinds of students also changes. Mm -hmm. um, and as a teacher, your approach to uh, kyo just means like, you know, dexterous. And then bukyo basically means clumsy, but it's a bit deeper than that. Mm -hmm. The way you approach those kyo, those skilled, dexterous, graceful students, and the way you teach them has to be different from the way you teach students that are not uh, very deft or swift with their body or dexterous with their body. Um, and don't have that that natural like affinity for it. I'd like mm. to just be respectful of Sensei's time, but ask him to give one translation. Since and, and I understand we went off on a different topic that he probably wanted to talk about. I don't respect that. Mm. However, in 2006, mm. when Sensei asked me, uh, he wanted he he taught me that, about Nin Tai, mm. and he told me to teach it to the students. And I, mm. If he could explain that, because I think that this as well and some I don't want to say summarizes it, but it speaks to what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Toughing it out. I あの、ある so he said it's just like he said yesterday about how um, it would be better to do 10 minutes of training a day mm. than for a whole year than 10 hours in one day once a year uh, because that is nintai, um, persistently, consistently uh, pushing yourself to keep going and that perseverance. And he said that um, not just in Budo but in life that that kind of uh, dedication, perseverance that is Nintai, and that's also that's the the boundary that separates uh, average people from extraordinary people. Because people, many people can't do it or, or don't want to, and the people that can are the people that excel. When human beings, when they get uh, attached or obsessed with one single thing, they fail to see everything else that uh, surrounds them. Mm. 全部を見る。そこに何があるかというのを全部を見るけども、そこに何があるかというのを理解はするけども、それに心を囚われてはいけない。なぜあれが例えばこの部屋でね、こう電気がついてる、そういう窓がある、部屋みんながここにいる、
考えたらそこに心がとらわれちゃう、はい、そういうのはダメだこれはねぶぶあのいわゆる戦う時の原則なんです全部が分かっているけどもそこに一つ一つに心をとらわれないんですこれは、うん、あの中心視野と周辺視野とも同じなんです、はい、これがあの無心なんです無心武道でいうところの無心なんですエンプティーじゃないの無心は空、はいうん、じゃないの全部はい分かってる分かってるけど心がとらわれてないこれが<笑>武道でいう無心だ無心、はい、これは私が筑波大学のね大学院で勉強した結果、はい、This is、uh, by the way this is the result of the research he did at,、uh, as a graduate student at 筑波大学、uh, 筑波 University and what he said is when you perceive the world you have to perceive everything everything that's there everything that's around you and be aware of everything But you don't let your mind or spirit be、uh, attached or obsessed with any or、uh, captured by any single element. For example, he said the example of this room you see everything. You see the lights, you see the windows, you see the shinai, you see the、uh, fans. But you don't stop and look, oh, let me focus just on that light. Why is that light there? What's the purpose of that light? Instead, your.、Uh, Taking it all, taking it all in.、Uh, and that is the key to achieving what、uh, the word mushingan.、Uh, and the kind of, just a little bit, mushingan is the kind of, just a little bit, 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 just a l i t t 状態だからあの普通例えば座禅を組んでる時とかね、はい、あるいはヨガをやってるとか何かをやってる時は確かにね無心の状態なんだ、はい、しかしその状態は武道家にとってはダメなんだ体が寝てるわけだ、はい、副交感神経が 100% でね交感神経がほとんどゼロに近いわけ、はい、その無心はな、はい、じゃなくて5050じゃなきゃダメなんだ常に体はレディツゴーの状態にいないとだわ。はい。そこし気持ちは全部にとらわれてない。はい。ここが覚醒無心だ。はい。これを覚醒無心。あの今までない日本語を私は作った。覚醒無心っていう日本語はなかった。もう十年前に作った。ああ、this is a word that he actually it's not a Japanese word it's a word that he、uh, created、えー、覚醒無心。The first two are awake, and then Mushin is empty heart or empty spirit. But he said, This empty, what's really important about it is that it doesn't mean、uh, that you're asleep. It doesn't mean that you're lifeless. Because in Zazen, you're truly trying to achieve emptiness. But、mm. in Budo, your body still has to move. Right?、Mm. So、um, rather, instead of that, what it is is that you're,、uh, you're simply intaking everything, the、uh, totality of. What is around you and, and your environment that you're in and yourself, but without fo-、uh, getting、uh, stuck on any single、uh, element of that、mm. full picture. And that is Katsu Mushi. でそれぞれが全部違う目的で動くわけ。これが覚醒無心なんだよ。Uh, so, uh, in Japanese Buddhism, there is a、uh, deity that has a thousand arms. It's the、uh, Kano,、uh, Kanonja. Uh, a bosatsu,、uh, uh, bosatsu that has a thousand arms, a Buddhist、um, saint that has a thousand arms. 
And he says all of those arms are moving uh, independently, but also uh, singularly, in, in the sense that they're, they're, they're one whole entity that is mo moving each independently. And he says this is, conveys the essence of Kakusei Mushi. And uh, that Buddhist deity, uh, Kanno Sama, is every single hand is operating to save people, mm. to save humanity, different people at the same time, mm. uh, with the same mind. Mm. So this is our ultimate goal. But before that, we have to do shu, which is uh, the phase of doing what you're told. After mastering Shu, then you would move on to the phase of Ha, in which you break that which you've learned and uh, rebuild it to uh, fit your individual self. And then finally, after finishing that stage, you reach Ni, in which you create something new. Shugyo is brought to you by the Yasuragi Dojo, a traditional Japanese martial arts school and nonprofit 501c3 organization located in New York. I'm your host, Adam Mitchell, and I truly hope that you found some value and inspiration from this conversation. If you'd like to learn more about our dojo, yes, it's an actual physical dojo, not just some virtual one made up on the internet, find us on the web at yasuragidojo.com. The link is in the show notes. Or go ahead and access our free mobile app for iPhone and Android. There, you can access our daily training, coaching, live streams, meditations, workshops, and both online and in-person retreats. Our work depends on the generosity of our supporters, dedicated students around the world, and you by listening to this episode. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel, and you'll be updated on new episodes and reflections as they roll out. And if you know someone who will enjoy the conversation that we had today, please go ahead and share. Once again, my name is Adam. This is Shugyo. Until next time.